Hi guys, it's Stephanie, and I just wanted to talk to you about something that the Lord laid on my heart. In fact, uh, when I woke up this morning, I was thinking about it, and so um, I wanted to talk about um, we are waiting with faithful anticipation for Christ appearing. So um, I was thinking about this the other day. I was watching my children. Uh, we were expecting company coming over, and they were they were their friends were coming, and two of my daughters stationed themselves at the window, one at one window, one at the other, watching for their friends to arrive, and this started quite early, <laughs> way before the time was was coming, but it made me think of you know how children have faith you know they know their friends are coming they said they would come about this time so they start watching and they're waiting and that's the way we're supposed to be we the Lord told us you know he gave us uh, all these signs and things to look out for all the things that we should be watching for when it's time for him to come and we're we're at the window now we're watching and waiting that's where we are and so um, I was just thinking about that and then um, also like a child at Christmas. My my three-year-old daughter is already like <laughs> totally excited about Christmas coming. And she keeps saying every night at dinner, she will say, I'm getting this toy. Uh, she just has so much faith that this particular toy is something that she's going to get. And she thinks it's coming every day. Like every day she thinks it's the day. She, she thinks, I'm getting this toy. And she thinks, this is the day I'm getting it. But <laughs> we told her sometime around Christmas, and she's thinking, now, you know. And that's the way we are, too. It's like um, the childlike faith, you know, the, the anticipation of, of something great. You know, we know it's coming. We just don't know when. And it's just so cute because she's just like every single day, she's like saying, I'm getting this, you know. And she just knows it, and she's looking for it every day. <laughs> And it's the cutest thing. Anyway, so it made me think of that, that, that that's where we are right now. We're in that waiting place, you know. And But it's supposed to be um, a joyful waiting, not a, um, you know, I'm worried and concerned all the time, but just a joy in Him and the waiting process. So um, I also thought of another example. It's like that waiting with bated breath, you know. Um, when when the groom is standing at the altar and the bride is in the hallway ready to come into the sanctuary and walk up to to the groom you know and the groom and the bride are both waiting with bated breath you know they're both in that place of anticipation of this is this day has finally arrived and we are here and this is what what's going to happen we're getting ready to get married you know that anticipating feeling that that feeling that cannot be or explained by anything else it's just that is the most exciting moment of your life well that's where we are right now um where we are just in the hallway waiting for the to go into the groom right so then I had one more example, we're waiting with bated breath, okay, so the, the mom is going to have a baby and she goes into labor and she's having labor and you know, everybody's different how long or how it even happens, but um, that moment right before you see your baby's face, you know you're about to see that baby that you've been waiting for for nine months, you've been waiting. And you've been anticipating what this child will be, what it will look like, you know. And you you have that one moment where it's just like you know you're about to see the baby. And it's so exciting and so um, breathtaking. You're, you're, you're waiting with bated breath for that baby to come, you know. And so it's, the, it's all of those are a good example of where we are right now. And so, and I was going to read to you... Um, the verse Matthew 18 3 and it says and said verily I say unto you except ye be converted and become as little children ye shall not enter into the kingdom of heaven so all of these things are um, are like having that childlike faith become like a child you know and have the faith that he's coming 
no matter what the world looks like, no matter who's saying he's not, no matter who's saying the rapture is not going to happen, have that faith and lean upon uh, the truth and continue to feed your mind with the truth. Um, you know, it says faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God. So continue to um, seek the word of God to, to build up your faith. You know, in these things and all the other things that uh, we need to know about Jesus and learn about, you know, it's important to, to just study the word and and um, just um, search out the things, you know, for yourself and to understand what's where we are and what's going on and, and look it up and, and really, like, just if you keep, start to have doubts, then, then look at the scriptures again and read them again and remind yourself of the truth, you know. And then... Um, I had another scripture again Titus 2 13 this is where we are we're in that bated breath phase you know um, looking for that blessed hope and the glorious appearing of the great God and our Savior Jesus Christ who gave himself for us that he might redeem us from all iniquity and purify unto himself a peculiar people zealous of good works and it says in 15 it says these things speak and exhort and rebuke with all authority let no man dis despise these things so um god's grace brings salvation you know that's what the title of that section of scriptures from um titus 2 uh, 11 through 15 it says god's grace brings salvation you know and so it's really important to remember that, that it's by his grace that we are saved. So that brings me right into the gospel, you know. <laughs> First Corinthians 15, 1 through 4 says that we just need to believe, right? We believe that Jesus died for our sins, according to the scriptures, and he was buried and he rose again on the third day. That's what we do. We believe that he did these things for us. And then Ephesians 2, 8 and 9. For by grace are ye saved through faith. And that not of yourselves. It is the gift of God, not of works, lest any man should boast. It's not of ourselves. It is a gift of God. So that we can't come to him saying, look what I've done. And look, you know, I deserve to be saved because I am so good. And I've done so many good things. That is not how it works. <laughs> it is all about him and what he did on the cross for us. He did it for all of us, but we have to believe that he did it for us. Romans 10, 8 through 9 says, But what saith it? The word is nigh thee, even in thy mouth and in thy heart, that is, the word of faith which we preach. That if thou shalt confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus, and shalt believe in thine heart that God hath raised him from the dead, thou shalt be saved. So we just need to believe it, you know? And when you believe something, you, you begin to speak about it. It's something that is important to you, and you start talking about it. So we confess it, you know? And um, so that belief begins to come out of us, you know? And so anyways, that is what I wanted to talk about today. So I hope if there's anyone out there who hasn't received um, Jesus by believing in him, that you would just please take the time to do that now. We don't know what tomorrow holds, um, whether it's the rapture or something else in this world. This world is having so many crazy things happen right now. So, um... Don't wait saying, I will just wait until everything's okay and everything's good and then I'll come to the Lord. We really need to just do it. <laughs> if any part of you has an inkling that you should uh, receive him, you should. <laughs> That's him. He wants you to come to him and he wants you to receive all the good things that he has for you. And, um, and it's not by chance that you're watching this right now. You're hearing the gospel for a reason. Uh, he wanted you to. So I pray that you will be blessed today and have a wonderful day. Talk to you later. Bye.